Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson. And I'm Claire. And today we're going to be reviewing the new kettle chips sea salt with a hint of basil. I was very surprised to see this product in Waitrose, which is where we bought them from for £2.20, I think they were. I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, I've previously tried the rosemary, hint of rosemary, I thought they were really good. I actually prefer basil as a, uh, oh wow, they smell very interesting. Definitely strong basil smell. Very fresh mm. basil smell. They're very big as well. I'm looking forward to this, here we go. Hmm, exactly what they're described as. Basil is certainly strong enough. It's nice. I'm not convinced it goes quite as well with the potato as, um, as well as the rosemary does. But I really like the flavour in a basil anyway, so yeah, quite like that flavour. Very, very clean. Yeah, it's quite basil, isn't it? Hmm. So it's more than a hint of basil. Yeah, I think that probably is fair actually. I so say it's probably good it's that it's actually, quite. Um, if you look at the ingredients, it's actually pretty good for crisps. Potatoes, sunflower oil, sea salt, and basil extract. Yeah. Did we see basil extract? Yeah, we did actually, yeah. Well, uh, kettle chips know how to do chips, to be honest. They are. Uh, or crisps. Oh, they're nice, I like them. Yeah, very nice. There's really not much to say about them. They are very nicely salted and well seasoned. The punch of basil is strong enough and I think very good. Yeah. Delicious, to be honest. Uh, I probably would get either these or the rosemary or the lemon over just the normal salt, just because it's a little bit more interesting and still is really plain, you know, but but nice. I give it a very solid four stars. Oh, I was gonna go high three. Mm. Yeah, four point three. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Follow me on Instagram at resourceman. They're massive. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's a really good size. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at Food Review UK. Thanks for watching.